to get off to a good start. And they did, picking up Will Jacks straight away in the first over. Chris Wood, the left arm seamer, doing the business straight away. And Will Jacks rather limply flicking it to straight mid wicket for a blob. So it's the perfect start for Hampshire, who won the toss and elected to field first. And a good start became an excellent one when James Vince, the skipper, took a catch at deep-ish mid-off to give John Turner in just his fifth T20 appearance of his professional career a first wicket. John Turner was excellent throughout the day, as indeed were all of Hampshire's seamers. That was four for two. Jamie Smith came in on the back of that scintillating 100 in the championship earlier in the week. But both he and Sam Curran were unable to arrest the decline of that, those two openers. And soon enough, Sam Curran held out as well to deepish mid-off. It was a story of the day. Hampshire pulled their lengths back. They explored the middle of the pitch. They were all extremely disciplined. And in Nathan Ellis, their Australian overseas, they have a start. Jamie Smith was the fourth to go on just 18 inside the power play. And that was the second wicket for John Turner. And Hampshire were absolutely bossing the game at four for 18. Surrey, of course, came into the game top of the league, played nine, seven and two. And with Hampshire having lost their last couple, they were desperate to get going. And indeed they did. The skipper, Chris Jordan, came out six to try and arrest the problem. Played a couple of nice shots. Coming off the back of a brilliant 36, not out, of course, a couple of days ago against Somerset. So he was in form. And his opposite man, Sean Abbott, despite having made that incredible 100 here a few weeks ago, was unable really to trouble the scorers this afternoon. Nicking off to Fuller, taken comfortably enough by Ben McDermott behind the stumps. When he went, Surrey were 32 for five in the ninth. And James Fuller became the fourth bowler to pick up a wicket. With the fifth wicket brought Jamie Overton to the crease. And it was a lone stand by the former Somerset man, who showed great pluck and invention as well as good sense. Chris Jordan at the other end was trying to find his range. That was one of the few mistakes really in an otherwise excellent Hampshire performance in the field. And it was Jordan to go, leaving it Surrey in the doldrums at 53 for six in the 13th. James Vince picking up yet another catch in all, there were four taken in that region from mid-on to mid-off. Hampshire's bowlers had a clear game plan and they executed it brilliantly. Tom Curran came in at eight alongside Jamie Overton. And for a moment, Surrey looked to enjoy themselves. The momentum of the inning seemed to shift when the two came together. Jamie Overton's strength was in full cry at one point. In all, he would clear the ropes three times in addition to five boundary fours. And while Benny Howe was very strong for the first two or three overs, he got some tap in his final over against Overton. Tom Curran and Jamie Overton came together in the 13th and for just two and a half overs they put together a 53 run partnership. Curran got himself going with a marvellous pull shot over, over mid wicket. But Surrey just as they were feeling like they were inching their way back into this contest. Hampshire struck again. 
Chris Wood showing all his experiences, just taking the pace off the, off the delivery, and it's an easy catch for Curry, the sub-fielder at long on. So that concluded their 56-run partnership in the 16th over. Surrey, 109 for seven by this point. Sunil Narayan was the new man, and he didn't get going. Cleaned up for just two by the very impressive John Turner, whose three wickets cost just 17, in addition to three for Chris Wood and three for Nathan Ellis. Hampshire Seamers had a field day. With Surrey eight down for just 115, it was a case of just how many they could find. And it all hinged on Jamie Overton. But on 45, he played all round a good Yorker by Nathan Ellis. Finished off his 24 ball, 45. Five fours, three sixes, a lone hand by Overton. And that was that. 124 all out with the wicket of Gus Atkinson. Chris Wood picking up his third. Surrey, 124 all out. Hampshire have done this superbly well at the halfway point. So, Ben McDermott and James Vince walked out chasing just 125 to win. They're a fine, complimentary opening pair. Ben McDermott, the muscular, tough, big-hitting Australian overseas, and James Vince, all style and class. Vince enjoying one of the great T20 seasons so far, averaging north of 70 and striking at 165. It was Ben McDermott who was the star of the show initially. It was in the second over against Sean Abbott that he chose to essay the ramp and the paddle, and he brought in a boundary four and cleared the ropes as well. Pummeling Sam Curran over extra cover for six was perhaps the shot of the day. And while it was a small, paltry target to chase, nonetheless, Hampshire's openers did it with great intent and clarity of thought. There were a couple of scares, a couple of run-out chances, which rather summed up Surrey's day. There was one in the first over and then one in the fifth. Jamie Overton on his hands and knees by the end of a chastening day for Surrey. But aside from a couple of miscommunications between these openers, there was, aside from that, nothing else to really concern them. James Vince got into the act, climbing into a couple of pull shots. He never seems to overhit it. Always easy on the eye and playing with absolute authority. Whether it's sixes behind square on the offside or flat sixes through mid-wicket. James Vince is in the form of his life. Runs in Red Bull cricket and an astonishing run of form now in T20. McDermott careered on to yet another 50 in the former. And Surrey Seamers, none of them had an answer in truth. In the end, it was only Gus Atkinson who picked up the solitary wicket. But before that, James Vince meted out some vicious punishment on Surrey Seamers. Sonnen Orion was the only bowler to be calm, Hampshire's openers, in truth. His four overs went for 24. But Surrey Seamers, in truth, were not really at the races. That was the single wicket to fall. Ben McDermott for a 38 ball, 50, four fours, three sixes, all done and dusted in 44 minutes. And this innings rattled along. The Surrey crowd were becalmed and bemused, in truth. Nothing went Surrey's way. Sprawling dives, missed runouts. And James Vince just went about his business, finishing up in the end. 62 from 40 was his final analysis. 
as Hampshire just cruised through the afternoon. Toby Albert, the young lad, came to join James Vince with a few needed, and Vince did what he does so elegantly and perfectly. Particularly strong through the onside today. Tended to hang back on the back foot, punishing anything short. And if it was pitched up on the toes, then he was effortlessly cool and stylish throughout the afternoon. Anything that Surrey threw at him, he simply threw back. And with no deep mid-wicket and seven and a half overs left in the innings, James Vince saw it through, 62 not out for the Hampshire captain. Hampshire have demolished Surrey here at the Kia Oval by nine wickets 